Hello. Uh, if you ever thought that real estate agents couldn't get any more evil and heartless, uh, I have just the story for you. Buddy, buddy, I'm trying to film here. Take your time. Thanks. Does anyone else love living with cats? I find that they rarely ever get in the way. All right. I swear to God, Bella, if you get in and do this as well, we good? Please. All right, you can, you can sit here. You can, yeah, that's all right. You can come sit with me. We good? No? Okay, thank you. This is a story about a real estate agency claiming the full amount of a tenant's bond, except the twist is uh, that this tenant is deceased. This is Gerard's story. He was renting a property at Unit 2, 17 May Street in Preston from a Harcourt's Rada & Co real estate agency. You may be familiar with them because um, they're evil. Gerard moved in in April or early May 2021. Um, and has had some pretty significant health concerns. He had throat cancer and um, a bunch of other stuff. Unfortunately, Gerard passed away on the 12th of January this year due to blood poisoning. When Gerard passed away, um, Gerard's sister uh, was contacted by Harcourts to arrange kind of the exit stuff. His rent was paid up to the 27th of January and Gerard's sister had arranged for 10 people to come around on the 23rd of January and clean up all the stuff. Um, this included professional cleaners, professional gardeners, a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you've ever had a family member die, but um, it's that that's, that's not a fun time, to put it lightly. A professional end of lease clean was done, and then Harcourts was contacted saying, hey, uh, the property's clean, can we, um, you know, sort out the bond and stuff. After they were done, a neighbor commented on how good the property looked. And then on the 30th of January, Harcourts contacted Gerard's sister to say how shocked they were at the condition of the property and how, how poor of a condition it was in. In response, Gerard's sister uh, asked for a copy of the initial entrance report, the initial condition report, so that they could compare the things to. Harcourt sent them the current condition report, uh, which included things like, oh, there's leaves uh, in the driveway because the exit report was done six days after. And I don't know if you know about leaves, but they, they just kind of appear. It just happens. There were also things like 3M hooks on the wall. Obviously some of them weren't removed because as discussed in my previous email, the original condition report was not available to Gerard's sister. Harcourts have still not given the original condition report to Gerard's sister. Um, they've also decided to claim the full bond amount to restore the property to its original condition. Harcourt said this amount wouldn't be enough to restore it to its original condition. I disagree with that. I did some digging and reached out to Harcourts. I found out that the property was owned by the wife of one of the agents of Harcourts. And I asked them a bunch of questions. I asked them to comment uh, and they never responded, which is unsurprising. I was in the middle of exporting this video and Harcourts responded. They said, I can confirm the tenant's sister was sent the entry report shortly after a conversation with the property manager. This was sent through our inspection system. I'm told this link didn't work. They also said that no one's actually authorized to act on a deceased tenant's behalf, so they're trying to figure that out. They also said that they confirm that no VCAT order has been made and once we're provided with the details of the authorized person, we aim to provide an amicable and acceptable outcome for all parties, which is interesting because the property manager was threatening to go to VCAT kind of immediately. At the time of the start of our tenancy, the property was being managed by another agency and Mr. Salkos was not in our employ. Uh, he has had no involvement in this matter whatsoever. We are sympathetic to the tragic circumstances of the tenant's passing and look forward to providing an outcome that does not add undue stress to the family. Well, I hope that's the case. The bond claim that Harcourts have initiated includes things, like I said previously, like leaves in the driveway, as well as small stains on a carpet that is over eight years old. In Victoria, VCAT considers eight years to be the lifespan of a carpet. So if the landlord plans to replace that carpet, uh, you can't claim it from a tenant's bond because it's already too old. It has to be replaced anyways. It's unfair to claim it from someone's bond when the carpet is beyond its reasonable lifespan and should be replaced anyways. Our courts have shown no empathy to a person whose brother has just died and left behind two children. All this person wants is the bond back to give to the two daughters that remain uh, and Harcourts are being like, no, nah, we're claiming the full bond. I think that's pretty on the nose. I think that's really unfair. And I think 
genuinely it's quite mean i'd be really keen to know what you think about this situation um and also if anyone knows how to get harcourts to respond uh, i would appreciate it um, for personal reasons anyways thank you for listening